So what are we having tonight? I thought we were having pizza. Well, we're having pizza, but I'm making the uh, pizza dough in the bread maker, and I'm going to use half for the pizza and half to make cinnamon rolls. Ah, so you're Criscoing up the pan here. Huh? Yep, so I got the glass Pyrex. I'm just putting some Crisco to keep the cinnamon rolls from sticking. Yeah. And then I have the dough here, and... We want this to be 9 by 12, so I'm going to take the rolling pin and just roll it out flat. Yeah, and like we mentioned, we're having pizza, so this is quite an ordeal. Um, you're making up the rolls, and we're videotaping it while we're making pizza. And <laughs> I'm in your kitchen under your feet making uh, sauce and stuff. But Yeah, we had to, um, while the rolls were were arising I made the pizza yeah. yeah so I just have this rolling out with the rolling pin and eventually we'll get it to 9 by 12 I got the tape measure to see okay close yeah. enough uh, a little more a little stretch it a little more a little bit more yeah. and you can buy uh, the pizza dough at the grocery store. I make it, and we have a video where I made the Papa Gino's pizza and uh, gave the recipe on how to make the pizza dough in the bread machine. But if you go to the grocery store, you can just buy it already made. So I have some brown sugar, and what we're going to do is mix in the bowl. We're going to mix a quarter cup of brown sugar. And that nice and packed down. <laughs> Pack it down. Yeah. And we have some cinnamon. And I'm going to use two teaspoons of cinnamon. Now, the recipe for the pizza dough is actually for two. So you could make one pizza in one of these, or mm -hmm. you could make two pizzas. Yeah, usually yeah. we make two pizzas. And so I have two tablespoons of butter that's softened. And I'm just going to spread that out over the dough. Now, if you hear anything like <laughs> in the background, that's the cat <laughs> that's making her nails. presence now. Yeah, yes. walking around. It's time to eat, so the cat's getting impatient. So once the butter is spread, we just mix up this uh, cinnamon and brown sugar in the bowl. And I just, just use my hands to just spread it. It's the easiest way to get it evenly spread over the dough. This is just wonderful. You know, what a treat tonight. When you're upstairs feeding the cats, I kind of snuck an extra one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to roll the dough. It doesn't have to be too tight, but... Just slowly work it so it's rolled down. I'm just spreading this a little to the edges. There was a little bit of clumps of the brown sugar. And so we just slowly roll that. It's pretty easy. And this worked pretty good on the countertop. That's the insert I made from a piece of... Uh, old countertop that was left over and it seems to maneuver pretty good on that huh? yeah i didn't even flour it or anything uh, dough was a little bit sticky but if you work slow enough just take your time that's the thing with baking you kind of have to be patient and so once i get it down to the end just try to seal seal it a little and we're going to cut it into nine uh cinnamon rolls so I just cut it in half and then one side will be five and the other side will be four. That's the nine inch dimension so those will each be an inch wide. Yeah yeah, yeah you could you could cut it in half and then each side two times and, and you would end up with eight but it's easier to put them in the glass pyrex and have nine because you have three rolls of three 
Okay, now the cat's making noise with the box <laughs> to get our attention. Uh, anything I can do to stop this, <laughs> this madness. Okay. So now I'm going to put them in the Pyrex, and they fall apart a little, but, you know, the main thing is they're going to taste great. Yeah. So they don't have to look great, but you just want to place them in there, three rows of three, and then we're going to end up putting them in the oven for about an hour to proof. I ha My oven has a proof setting. If, if your oven doesn't, you can just cover it with a towel and put it on top of the oven for about an hour. Um, they The dough will rise a little bit more. Um, and we'll show that in a minute. <laughs> okay, so they're out from proofing. Yeah, so we had had it on in the oven for an hour, proofing, and see how the dough kind of doubled in size. Yep, and so we're going to set the oven to three, 350 and just cook them for 15 minutes. And they're done. And then we're going to let them cool for about 10. And then uh, I have vanilla extract and I have uh, about three quarters of a cup of uh, powdered sugar. We're going to make a glaze. And this is only about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I added uh, one tablespoon of almond milk. You can use regular milk or even probably half and half, but that this is just what we have on hand. And then just take a spoon and mix it up. And you want it kind of thick. You don't want it too thin. Um, it's the cinnamon rolls have been cooling for about 10 minutes. Yeah, it so takes a, a little while to mix, but you want to make sure it's it's mix, mixed thoroughly. And then you have kind of like a icing here. Okay, and then we're just going to put that on top of the cinnamon rolls, and I'll get those. They're cooling on the stove top. Just dollop them on there. Yeah. And uh, again, it doesn't have to be perfectly pretty. It tastes great. That's all that matters. Yeah. We're not uh, serving these in a restaurant or just having them at home, like my home cooking wife. <laughs> yeah, they taste great. And just so uh, just take, you know, a spoon at a time. And, and there's no more cooking. You just kind of let it melt on there. Yeah, I think because they're still warm. You want to make sure they're not straight out of the oven because they'll... This icing will just, you know, melt down to kind of a liquid. So you want it to stay, you know, somewhat like a glaze, like a icing. And so that's why it's good that they're warm. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you make it, hope you enjoy. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.